Okay. We're going to talk about the reorganization of the uh, probation departments. Yes, Mrs. Barry and I are, are here to request uh, formal action by the Board of Commissioners to approve uh, the suggested reorganization uh, of the probation department. Uh, we had had an executive session uh, that we uh, talked about this concept, and you've been provided uh, with uh, a rundown and a report from Sally in terms of, of what that would entail. But uh, I am uh, recommending that uh, Mrs. Barry be appointed uh, in the new position as a director of probation services for Lebanon County, with both the adult probation department and the juvenile probation department being unified uh, under that one position. Uh, there would be uh, some uh, other concurrent requests for redesignation of personnel in different positions uh, within that structure uh, and uh, attendant salary modifications with regard to those positions. Uh, I think this is a forward-looking uh, kind of step by it. Uh, us here in Lebanon County. I know years ago when I first started as an attorney, 35 years ago, that's the, that's the setup we had back then. We had one person who was in charge of probation services with uh, both departments uh, under that one person. We, we've changed, but, but I think now here we are in 2012 and I think reverting back to that structure is, is an appropriate change. I, I see a tremendous benefit from doing that, uh, from having uniform policies within the department that would apply for all probation officers, be they uh, adult or juvenile. I see real benefits in terms of being able to provide unified training and updating procedures both for juvenile probation officers and adult probation officers. Firearms training, uh, updates on the law, those kinds of things. Uh, and, and frankly, having cross-training, if you will, of both uh, adult and juvenile probation uh, officers. One of the really, really uh, exciting concepts that I see, and I, I think it's an innovative concept, would be uh, the aspect of uh, providing family supervision. We have a number of juvenile offenders whose parents are also under supervision with the adult probation department. And, uh, unfortunately, and this may be an oversight on my part because these are my departments, never the twain met in the past in terms of there being uh, what I would call a unified approach to that family's situation. And I'm real excited, and I think uh, Mrs. Barry's really excited about having that concept in place. And, and I think uh, the aspect of family supervision dealing with the issues uh, across the family that impact on both the children, the juveniles who are in the system, and the adults is a very, very positive thing. I, I think a, a very innovative thing. And I think this structure, uh, with Mrs. Barry uh, in charge, if you will, will accommodate that approach. And I, again, I'm excited about that. I think it's a, a very great thing. I have uh, the utmost faith and confidence in, in Sally. I would not be here talking to you about this proposed change if I didn't believe she was the right person to be in charge of probation services uh, for Lebanon County. Uh, so she gets my full 100% support. Uh, I, I don't know if, I think I was really the genesis of this idea. I think I sat down with Mrs. Berry a number of months back and said, hey, uh, let's look at this as a concept. Uh, she was uh, on the spot in providing an outline for me and, and we've been through it a number of times. So I am totally 100% uh, behind her and behind this request and I hope you will uh, give your approval to it. And I think the net uh, is to there will be a net savings uh, after this whole uh, yes. reshuffling in, of, of department people and so on and and, all. and um, also more efficiencies and I, I think your track record Sally is is uh, well uh, documented in terms of things you've already accomplished for the county so we have every confidence that uh, you'll be you know as good in this role. Um, uh, well, again, as I said, I would not be here asking to do this if right. I didn't believe that she was the person yeah. to lead us in that effort. Yeah. Um, anything else? I, I just wanted to echo, if I may, um, having worked with Sally all of these years, she has stepped up to the plate time and time again. I think you made a good choice. I'm, I'm excited to uh, see what comes of this because uh, if we can keep family units together, even if they're dysfunctional at the time, maybe with this kind of an approach, there can be improvements in the future. So thank you for taking this step. Okay. Prove the concept of combining the adult and juvenile probation departments. Second. Motion and a second on the floor, John. Um, what kind of savings are you anticipating, and can you give me examples of where they would be? 
there will be some personnel uh, savings. Uh, I, I believe ultimately we will realize savings from a, a budgetary standpoint on training and updating of uh, the probation officers. We do all of that now separately. There's regular ongoing firearms training and updating that folks have to have. We do that separately as a, a separate cost item uh, for each department and, and we will have a unified approach to that. Uh, so I'm confident that the savings will be there. At the beginning, I think they're going to be less than probably they are down at the end. But, but uh, I, I don't know. When we sat down and really looked at the savings, we were somewhere in the neighborhood of, what, $42,000 or something of, of uh, that nature. But I think going forward, uh, once we have uh, the organization in place and uh, we're operating, uh, we'll recognize and be able to recognize even more savings. This seems like there's more responsibility for Mrs. Barry. I'm wondering if there will be compensation for that. What it is. There is a suggested, yes, change in her compensation because she will have more responsibility overseeing both of these departments. Has that been decided? With the amount? Uh, well, not, That's an, not finalized. Not another meeting. Yeah, not yeah. finalized. Okay. Yes, Court. No, just uh, there are uh, the, the, all of the uh, current employees, other than what we saw. Uh, with Mr. Sullivan today, uh, all of the current uh, members, staff members, are. Uh, will there be, there be any change there, or, or will, will there be positions lost in this sort of reshuffling of what you're doing? We're not in anticipating any changes, uh, any additional changes at this point. Uh, there will be a, a period of time within which Sally will be involved in really assessing both of the departments now that they're joined as one and assessing those positions. But uh, frankly, we're not anticipating as we look at caseloads and look at those kinds of things uh, and, and really this other uh, type of activity that we hope to take place with the family supervision, we would not be anticipating that there would be any other reduction in positions. Thank you. Well, we're, yeah, we are losing one position uh, for sure, and, and that's really what we're talking about. Okay, is that position, is somebody retiring and you're not filling it, or is, is it? Well, Mr. Sullivan is transferring out of, out of uh, the juvenile probation department to a new position, so his, his position will no longer be a position that is, is part of the juvenile probation. Okay. And there's another position that, that there, there are a couple of unfilled positions at this point, positions that are carried uh, for budgetary purposes uh, that Sally and I will be assessing, looking at caseloads, looking at ongoing operations in terms of when uh, and if those positions will be requested to be filled as well. So there's initially going to be savings because we're going to be <coughs> carrying over into the start of the year some p positions that are unfilled positions that we're not paying people to occupy those positions and we may not ultimately after we reassess uh, caseloads and ongoing operations. Okay. If not. Uh the motion has been moved and seconded. All in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 So moved.